Hi, this is your host, Sapil Bhartia, and we are back with our super popular prediction video series. And today we have with us once again, Margaret Uglen, VP of Global Sales and Marketing at Sios Technology. Margaret, it's great to have you on the show again. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Swap. It's my pleasure, and it has become a yearly tradition here. So um, I am excited about hearing your predictions. But before we go there, let's just quickly remind our viewers, what is Sios Technology all about? So Sios Technology makes high availability and disaster recovery software to protect important applications from downtime and disasters. Excellent. Thank you. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball or magic wand and tell us what predictions you have for us for 2025. Sure. I have two of them for you. Uh, the first one is that we see IT generalists that are um, being uh, required to take on more and more responsibility for critical uh, situations, uh, applications, uh, both in the cloud and on-premises. Um, they are taking on responsibility for high availability environments that might be a little beyond their capabilities. Um, they are usually uh, environments that were set up by experts, uh, architects and, and specialists, and then turned over uh, to the specialists for um, ongoing maintenance. And, we're seeing more and more uh, companies that are finding that, uh, organizations finding that frustrating and, and difficult. Um, the second um, situation that we see is that um, the IT uh, staff are looking for disaster recovery that may be failing over uh, from uh, one cloud to another, um, dealing with that cloud strike situation in a better way uh, to prevent that kind of situation from happening through a more advanced disaster recovery. Thank you for sharing these predictions. If you look at 2025, what kind of challenges that you see will be there, not just for the industry ecosystem, but something that even uh, SIOS would like to tackle for its customers? The challenge is that the world has become a much more complex place and companies are um, configuring many, many more different um, uh, using many more different con configurations for their applications. So IT infrastructure has become very, very complicated. Uh, the choices that are available are complicated. The um, amount of technical resource required to manage them has become more complicated. And that will just continue to grow exponentially in the, in the near future. We also see that um, companies are becoming less interested in, in, uh, with being, let me start again. We also see that uh, companies are becoming more concerned about vendor lock-in with the clouds. They don't want to put all of their resources into one cloud or another. They want some flexibility in the, their choice of cloud for various applications or use cases, and they need a better way to be able to uh, run multiple different workloads in different cloud environments. Thank you. Now, if you look at these challenges, and if you also look at the predictions that you made, what is going to be the focus of SIOS in 2025? SIOS will be focusing in two areas. First of all, we'll be increasing our ease of use um, for our product to enable the IT generalist to see more, do more, have more information about their high availability environment, empowering them to manage these complex environments in a much better way. And secondly, we'll be working with our customers interested in disaster recovery to make sure that they can fail over, they can have disaster recovery flexibility with multiple clouds and multiple um, uses of failing over from cloud to cloud or from on-prem to cloud or within a cloud environment between availability zones, for example. Um, we are making sure that customers have a wide range of flexibility in their choices of disaster recovery. Margaret, thank you so much for joining me today. And you know, thanks for sharing your predictions. Of course, I'll have you again next year. I'll hold, I will not hold a scorecard to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true, but I will you know, get you back again on the show to get the next set of predictions for next year. Thank you so much. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Fair enough, Swap. Thank you very much.